how we can enhance the system. So we have a standard user exits uh, for sales orders. Mostly there were two user exits. So it's MB45 AFZZ. This is a very famous one. AFZZ and ZB. These two are the two user exits which we have. I mean, these are the includes and here are the user exits. User exit delete document. Usually you'll find like a program, a include program in this way and you'll have the user exits inside that. So you can find out the right spot and where you have to write your code. Uh, th this will not be our job usually. Uh, ABAPERS will do, not to worry at this stage. Okay, so user exit and delete document. When we are somebody is deleting the document, you can do your validation here any way you want. Okay, and any of the field is getting modified in the sales order. You can write your validation here. Or, you know, a move field to VBAP. So VBAK. So if I want to push any field additionally, if I have any custom fields in my sales order and I want to push them into the the document then i can use this one so now here vbap so if any of the field i want to push to vbap because in a, in our scenario also the storage location will be part of the vbap table it's a item data so item data table is vbap header data is vbak so now we would like to push a vb uh, storage location so that's user exit move field to vbap so we use this part and we try to push it, okay? And we have VBAP, this is for schedule lines. And VBKD is a business data, okay? And this is number ranges. If somebody wants to have a custom number ranges based on, you know, organizational wise. In the document level, we'll have only number ranges, same number ranges, but depending on the sales arc wise, we can generate the number range, something like that. We have some functionalities, okay? So this is something related to pricing. So I'm not going to all of those. But let's push the storage location from here. So for that, we use the standard determination, how it is there here. So for that, what we do is from here only, we want to pick it because we have already standard functionality exists. So if this kind of a customization is not exist, we may use a custom tables. Like, you know, we may create a table based on the determination rule on what basis you want to determine your storage location, that functionality we will give. But already SAP standard, we have the functionality. So I'm using the same that, you know, from the, based on this determination rule, my storage location should get determined. Okay. So let's find out which table this rule is getting stored. Okay. So click on that F1 and find out it's V, V for actually a structure. So I'm just taking TVKOL. TVKOL and shipping point is SCH1. Uh, when I execute, I have my entry. So here is the table TVKOL, which is getting stored all this information. Okay. So now we do is yes. Board, I think, yeah. It was open, right? In white, it will open in white. I know, uh, it will open now when I do this mm. implementation. When I write,
Okay, here itself. So I'm writing our enhancement. This is what an enhancement inside the user exit. This is a user exit. So I'm writing my own enhancement. Okay. So now we have a table. I'm going to check only one validation. So I'll write the structure ls underscore what was our table. TVKOL, right? KOL. Okay. Storage location and G O R T usually that is so. I'm just reconfirming the fields once again. It's L G O R T only always, and the plant code works always. Okay, single L G O R T. From this table into into let's underscore tbql where so here you will find all your fields. So I'm, what I'm going to do is based on the plant code I can check where the is equal to maybe API from Yeah, the announcement is active now. So I'll create a sales order. So it is not determined here. So let's debug it. Okay. Okay. It's correct. Size of us is zero. VBA Both are not coming. It's not it's not VBA, no? VBA? Which one? Uh, yeah. not, 
AFS one, right? AFS okay. Yeah, that's gonna be. Hmm. I think it it, it, it is working. I think. B B A P. Now it is taking only A F S. X V B A P. I'll do one thing. Usually it's the standard X V B A P. Standard actually it was XVB we used to code, but now in S4 and it said it will allow VB AP only, but it is not accepting. Let's see. Price, price is an issue. That's okay. Enter the price. Okay. Maybe price after entering the price, we may get it. Something like that. PR zero. Let me see. It's right in BBA. It's seven o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And the second query was a mistake.
You see AFS one. It. Hmm. You did it here. Hmm. I'll just remove all these breakpoints and we run it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I go to shipping, AFS one, and it works for all of you also. There is no Validation for only my organization, so it works for all of you. That means this this will always take from the v yeah OVL three the OVL three data configuration is maintained and it works for all of you. With so that, oh, could we go to the OVL three now? Yeah, I'll, I'll change this one and show you. Mm. And I didn't uh, plan for this one uh, because shipping condition, uh, storage condition, I, I didn't consider in our scenario because it's always with the blank one. So now I'm changing it to ROD one. one. Okay. Mm. So first entry has an influence or something like that? And, uh, I mean, uh, the problem would be not first entry. The idea was, you know, here I've maintained because another validation, if I change the shipping point, the validation is happening on these two parameters. I didn't mm. consider this parameter. If I consider this parameter, then my master needs to be influenced with this value. Mm. Then I'll direct from there again. So because shipping conditions, we are not uh, storage condition, we are not used to, right? So usually mm. it will not populate and nobody is maintaining any storage condition. If that is mm. there, I could have used this field and based on that derive the shipping condition basis, uh, storage condition basis also, we can determine it. But I didn't use that field because we are not used to this field. Mm. So nobody is doing that. So that is the reason. Okay. Yeah. And now it will determine for all of you. Yeah. Good year. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So this is what an announcement looks like and uh, what we do for an announcement, how it works. Mm -hmm. And usually this is a standard one I have used, but maybe there could be a requirement like there won't be any table or a maintenance view exists, something like the OVL3. So for that purpose, we may create a custom table to hold the value because in this scenario, I'm determining my storage location based on the standard determination rule. But there could be a scenario that, you know, you want to determine your storage location based on some customer. Customer might influence the storage location determination also. So in those cases, you don't find anything like this. So you may need to create a custom table based on your, you know, parameter, uh, the fields on which field basis you want to determine. You create a custom table or you may hold it in the TVA variable. So, and then the same logic will be written instead of this you know, TVKYE table, we're going to replace that with the custom table and we select it and we push the storage location. That's how it works. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you.